you know, you might not have this experience, but like if you ever freak out about that, there are so many books that you want to read. And I don't have you're, that issue. Yeah, so maybe let's say TV shows. There are so many TV shows that you need to watch and it stresses you out that you will just simply never be able to watch all the TV in the world. Yep. I'm having that with like, I have, and I have so much to say, but it's stressing me out because I know I'm not going to be able to say it all because I'm either going to forget or just run out of time. So now I'm just like not going to say anything at all. Today? The same way I'm just like not going to read any book. You talking about our conversations yeah. that we're about to dive yes. into head first today? Yes. Head first. Head first. So much to say. It's so pa I'm paralyzed. <laughs> hey, Brooke. Hi, Connor. Are you ready to MAP? I'm ready to pee. Ignorance is bliss. I'm living in a world of my own, and it's awesome. Oh, I thought I was responsible for 9 11 when I was five. Where were you? In Pennsylvania touch grass might I suggest we're just gonna dive right in today would you dive into a pool versus like pencil diving a lot of times I would just pencil dive uh, we could always say we're gonna pencil dive into our conversation yeah today. well I you know I was on the swim team you were, mm -hmm. yeah. So I but think that's I'm how... more inclined to just do a regular dive. Oh, cool. But that being said, not saying anything negative about a pencil dive. I love a pencil dive. There's a time and a place for a pencil dive. Although I will say I've gotten more injuries pencil diving than regular diving. How could you injure yourself doing a pencil dive? Because I put my toes real sharp. So, but it wasn't so deep enough. So my toes hurt. Yeah. Oh, Connor, I go so torpedo fast to the bottom of the pool. So deep. Brooke, I'm a sinker. And I hurt my toes. I'm a sinker too. Okay, then how have you not hurt your toes if you're a sinker? Well, I know, that, that, like depth-wise, I have a good uh, sense of depth. If you're truly a sinker, there's no way you could retract your toes in time. Brooke, if I'm And also, there's no way you would want to because it's torpedoing you. It sounds like you're jumping in like the shallow end of a pool. I'm not. And the fact that I've got like a, I'm a foot shorter than you and I'm going so fast to the bottom. What are you talking about feet-wise? Sorry, metric people. Feet-wise, what are you pencil diving in where you're hit? Uh, either eight to ten. Eight to ten. Inches, feet, eight to ten feet, and you're and you're, you're and and you're on submersible mode, just imploding at the bottom of the pool. Mm -hmm. I'm not always hurting my toes, but I have a lot of times because of how fast I'm going, and because I want to keep my toes pointed the whole time, so that I maintain that speed and velocity as well. It's a, it sounds <laughs> like you're a little self destructive, and you want to hit the bottom. That's what it kind of no. Sounds I'm like. just let's move on. No, because if I'm ever on a mission, if I'm ever on a mish to get to the bottom of a of something, if I want to touch the bottom or there's a mm -hmm. rock down there that I want to take home, <coughs> excuse me, I am going pencil mode. I'm not going dive mode because I I need my head up so that when my feet hit, I'm, I, know, I can get, grasp, gather my bearings, figure out the space that I'm in, recognize that space, mm -hmm. and then say, there's that rock that I want. Okay. Reach down and grab it. Are you wearing goggles or no? Not a goggle guy. Really? Nah. Why make things harder for yourself? Well, the, if they come up off my head, then I'm dealing with an entirely different beast underwater. If they come up off your head, then you just go no goggle mode. Not the end of then the I world. Then I got to find my goggles. What if they're nice goggles? Then you can do another dive for the goggles, just like you did for the rock. And why make things harder for myself? I thought you were liking the dives. I am liking the dives. <laughs> I don't think we're seeing eye to eye. It seems like one of us dove in and one of us is, is pencil diving and we're just not making eye contact for right the now. lifeguard test they throw a brick in the deep water like a real heavy brick not even like a normal brick a like plastic cinder block no it's oh. plastic and it's like really weighted the um weight that like a kid would be like 20 something pounds maybe or maybe Whoa. i'm making that up but it's really heavy and you have to dive regular dive to the bottom and rescue the brick and it is so hard and you have to come up with the brick on your chest and like you're swimming on your back so hard i'd love to see you do that I'd let, we should take the lifeguard or deep water test together when you have to like tread for five, rescue the brick, etc. Yeah, I'm super down. Okay, we had to do that every year at camp. Yeah, all of us to get to to to, to gain access. Oh yeah, to, the deep water test to no life jacket mode. Yeah. Oh, you were no life jacket mode. We were deep water. Well, no, no, no. We just like you had to have a life jacket on constantly unless you passed the swim test. Were you in the lake? We were in like a dammed up river. Oh, we we're in a damn ass river. I was in a pool. Okay. So you could get your green ribbon if you passed. We had a green ribbon really? as well. Oh, we, we've spoken about the girl with the green ribbon on this podcast, right? The That horrible story? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I would rather not relive that experience. <laughs> that's fair. If that's okay with you today. Completely fair. 
Um, Should we dive into like material? Hey guys, welcome back to Broken <laughs> Connor Make a Podcast. So I'm seeing we read off of a screen sometimes. Usually we go rogue, but sometimes we look at the screen to kind of get our bearings. It says surprise dot dot dot, which is not something that I have access to. That the surprise? Yeah. Am I supposed to know? I know it. Oh. Hello, Professor Borg. <laughs> Izzy knows it? Yeah. So, look behind you. Oh, Lord. Okay. We're looking behind us now. That thing? Yeah, if you look It's covered? There. Yeah. There you want to go do it? I want to do it. Can you I go do it? Okay, I'm going to... Because my feet are too far <laughs> from the ground. For audio-only listeners, there's a surprise on set, and I'm making my way towards it. Oh, my God. Wait, I think I know what it's going to be. Do you want to guess? Is it a bust? Of you know who? No. You open Is it. Is it? Open it. All right. Open it. Big reveal. <laughs> I'm scared. <gasps> yes! Up! No it way. It is the bust of Larry David. Oh my god! Izzy, that is exquisite. Okay. That's an exquisite piece. Oh my god! Can oh I bring it? Can yeah, I bring please. it over here? Wow. His glasses. Oh, oh my god! god. Look at it. David. That is God mode. Oh my wow. god! Okay, for audio only listeners, wow. get some background. When Brooke and I. We're kind of ideating what we'd love to have around us on... When we were on, what? When we were ideating. Great word. Ideating what we wanted to have um, wow. around us in our new zone here. We said like it'd be really cool to have a bus because it fits. And then we yeah. were like, who would we get a bus of? And we both kind of at the unanimously kind of said Larry David. Because that's so special because that's really the only thing we have in common. His glasses are on the ground. <gasps> oh, oh my no. God, Connor, please go oh get his no. glasses. Oh he can't no. see. Oh, Larry. Oh, those are gorgeous. That's so Larry, though, to like that, drop his glasses. 100%. Here, wow. Put those back. Oh, my God. They're perfect, too. Oh, my God. Where Izzy, did you guys, thank you. Where did you guys get your hands on a bust this of Larry David? This is spectacular. I've been working on it for months. Oh, my. You are just. I don't know if everyone knows this, but Izzy really is just like one of a kind yeah. angel. So is everyone here. But special shout out to Izzy for just kind of doing it all. Wow. Oh my gosh. I would encourage anyone listening on audio to hop on over to to get a visual of Larry's bust. This is bust. really special. I, I just I can't say enough good things about Larry and his bust. Really. Can we can, let's move the trinkets for today? I've heard today and just put Larry. Let's put Larry. Did you see that um show Larry went on that was like this guy that uncovers all of your ancestry? No. He went on it. We should watch clips in the bonus because he knew nothing about his life. He didn't even know his mom's real name. And Larry didn't Larry. Wow. Um, and this guy was able to share some pretty jarring facts about Larry's past I that were a little seedy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It was really entertaining. We should pull up some clips in the bonus. I would love to. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, there it is. Larry David stunned by, by his mother's, mother's secret, secret history and real name. Yeah. Oh, I don't know it's, it's a sp it's a sponsored by Ancestry.com. It's an advertisement for Ancestry.com? I think they maybe. They do that for people like celebrities so that non-celebrities will okay. use their service. Okay, whoever's running the marketing behind like a, a piece of, like uh -huh. a campaign around content yeah. for Ancestry.com featuring Larry David. Winner. winner Promotion winner, and dinner. they should be able to retire. Yeah. After this it campaign was really is over. good. That's fantastic. Oh, oh Jimmy my. Kimmel. Wow, he looks so different yeah, there. Jimmy Kimmel. Then that was only two days ago. That's so interesting. Wow. Wow. Let's... They have like a lot of A-listers on yeah. the Instagram. Oh, Bill Hater. Wow, Adore him. Crazy. Why is everyone looking completely Maybe different? Sandberg, too. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. Let's. Oh. Okay. Is it like funny? Have you watched? Yeah. They're, I mean, it's Larry's more like funny. funny people and then it gets personable. So uh -huh. it's like, oh, that's interesting. Oh, so it's like comedians in cars right. getting coffee. I will say, spoiler alert, they found out that, or Larry found out that like some of his ancestors fought for the South in the Civil War. And like that's... for most people, that would be like tough, t uh, tough to, to watch and watch someone learn. But, you know, Larry kind of that's... is the only person that could kind of make that comedic. That's a that's an episode that, of Kurt. It is. Yeah. Like him going back yeah, to the South. It really bigger. is. Wait, didn't he do that? He f thought he was adopted in Kerr. Yeah. And then found out that he wasn't Jewish and changed his entire personality right. yeah. to not be Jewish, which is actually like a lot of change that yeah. needs to go into that. It turns out he was actually not adopted and immediately went back to his roots Jewish of complaining well. and quetching and whatever have you. Oh, oh my gosh. Well, that's cool. I'll be diving. That's something fun to watch yeah, this let's weekend. Dive into that. Yeah. Wait, let's do it in the bonus. Yeah, let's do it. I'd yeah, love to. Me too. Um, okay, so we haven't been. Thank you, Izzy oh, Izzy, and everyone. Izzy, Izzy. I, it's just like this exquisite. Is amazing. 
like like the new centerpiece of our love it household love it and if anyone's wondering why my jewels are still on this table these are the ones that connor couldn't untangle himself so we i gave those to cash who films for us thank you cash for doing that and untangling my jewels and i like don't have the heart to ever move them because they'll get tangled immediately if not sooner in my car and my in my fanny pack or whatever so they'll just be here definitely yeah Yeah, i think they look maybe one at a time i'll bring them home on my neck that's a good yeah well we haven't seen each other since before the fourth Mm -hmm. so how was your fourth what have you been up to been missing you Missing you such. too. Um, really nothing to report. I think I posted every move, every breath I took uh-huh. on my Instagram story when I was in Texas. It's a great time. It was so much fun. It was like 115 degrees. Now, is that dry heat or a little bit of wet It's heat? wet. Damn. It's, yeah, it's pretty wet. It was fun though. Like you go out and you're just like sweating, and but everybody's sweating. Yeah. It's nice to be around other like just drenched uh-huh. people. Always. When you have active pores like moi. Mm-hmm. Um, and then that's really it. I didn't really, I didn't do a ton. We went out to a ranch and we ate a bunch of barbecue. That looks so divine because I've never had that. What have you not had? Like good, like authentic barbecue. I mean, I've had stuff on a barbecue, yeah. but not in Texas. Would you call that Western barbecue or Southern barbecue? Southern BBQ. Yeah. Like I've never had that. Yeah. It's, I never even think about the fact that mm-hmm. we have to like genre or BBQ. Yeah. But there's like. Argentinian. Like I BBQ. love the ribs just looking so wet, like falling off the bone. They were s- like so, so wet. wet. Oh my god, I can't even I'm imagine. Wet. I'm wet I thinking can't even about imagine. them. I can't even imagine. Guys, <laughs> hold up. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Um everybody's always asking me about times when I feel uncertain on like where I'm going mm-hmm. in life and what the right path was. That's just about every day. For me. <laughs> and even on the way here, I keep thinking I'm going to be able to get here without my maps. Uh-huh. I've been here every day for two years. Um, no, I can't. You shouldn't have Cause, to. Because the path is never straight and narrow and it changes all the time. And that's a meta- metaphor for life. That's there's never ne- there's never just one straight route every single day. And sometimes in life we're, we're faced with tough choices. And the path forward isn't always clear. 150%. It's nice to have maps. Whether you're dealing with decisions around career, relationships, how to get to work, or anything else, therapy helps you stay connected to what you really want (laughs) while you navigate life. So you can move forward with confidence and excitement with or without your map. Yeah. Because we don't have a map to life. Good metaphor circle back. That's real good. Trusting yourself to make decisions that align with your values is like anything. The more you practice it, the easier it gets. Therapy has been an incredibly positive experience for me. It offers a safe space that has helped me gain self-awareness and understand the root causes of my challenges. That's true. As it turns out, there are a lot of root causes. Through therapy, I've learned positive coping mechanisms that have been transformative and empowering. Totally. I was going to say that if you didn't. One of my favorites is just pause. Pause and think. Before reacting. My mom always tells me don't, or my dad actually, because my mom is probably why my dad tells me this, Uh but don't act on emotion right away. Yeah, that is so hard not to do. Take a breath. Maybe take a Maybe have a sip of your water and then- Hydrate and and positively cope. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. All you have to do is fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. (laughs) <laughs> Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash B-A-N-D-C today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash B-A-N-D-C. Um, it was unreal. I literally only ate like heavy duty meat for about six days, which is insane. And it made me crave it more. The more I ate, the mm-hmm. more I needed. That's what happens. I needed BBQ like water. Yeah. Oh, it was so good. Do you think that had something to do with the results you got at your doctor's appointment? I don't know if you want to talk about that. We can do that after you do your 4th of July okay. recap. I mean, I didn't do much either. I went to Palm Springs. Um, it was like, I don't know if you were exaggerating when you said it was 115. No, no. It was like 106. But it, I know y'all. It was, was like 115. But it is dry heat. So that is like, it's not great, but it's yeah. it's okay. Yeah. Um. But if, like, for one second, if you stepped on the ground with bare feet, I've never felt anything like that. 100%. Like, tr- blisters. Yeah. So we were just kind of in the pool for four days. Um, so, you know, that was nice. Um, we were there with some friends. And, you know, if I drink during the day, 
I'm going to bed at 7.30 yeah. p.m. Yeah. I can't possibly like make it through the night. But some people on the trip were able to make it through the day drinking and in the night. So that was frustrating in the sense that I was, you know, cozy tucked in early. And Tristan, our friend Tristan, who, you know, has the energy to keep on going, would come in to the room blasting from the speaker either the Pink Panther theme song. What does that go like? Um, oh, my God, why? But, um. But full volume, okay. okay while I'm you. trying to sleep, or I was thinking soul bossa nova. Do, no, do, 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 no, not that one. Do, 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 do. That one's fun. Or the ants go marching. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah! Imagine being like woken up out of your like half slumber, or just like sex sounds on Spotify. Yeah. So those were the three. I like was not able to sleep the whole weekend due to that behavior. Yeah. So that was real sweet, and. Then my my dad and my stepmom came to visit. Yeah, um, it's nice seeing LA through other people's <laughs> eyes. Sure. Um, so that was a nice aspect of that. Um, it's cool, like just like walking around like my neighborhood. I don't. I never have realized like how historic the Sunset Strip is. You know yeah, that little famous. piece. Yeah. It's so, like every step we took, my dad was like beside himself. Like especially you know the Viper Room. Mm-hmm. I had no idea like how intensely historic that is. Cause to me, I'm just like walking by this like little like bar. They don't keep it up very well. It is definitely in its original state from when like Led Zeppelin walked in and peed on the counter. But I had no idea like River Phoenix died there and it's this whole huge thing. And I've been in such a River Phoenix Wikipedia hole. Mm -hmm. That's wild that that just happened right there. And I just walk past it every day and don't bat an eye. But now I'm going to bat an eye because my dad took about 48 pictures mm-hmm. with it, which was sweet. That's yeah. It's it's crazy. And then like every like Troubadour's right there. Troubadour. Capital Rainbow Records. Room, Whiskey A Go Go. Well, Capital Records. All right. That's now the Supreme Store. <laughs> which that's that's hard to see. Times have changed and the yeah. ants go marching. The ants go marching. They always do one by one. They do. Mm-hmm. But it's cool to just like you know, see things through fresh eyes. I kind of have like a new lease on life for a bit. It'll fade, but it's nice while it's lasting. Yeah. Ride that high. Mm-hmm. Every time someone comes to visit me, I do the exact same thing because it's like, it's, I know exactly what people want yeah. to do and I have it templatized. That's like, good. We're going to go here for coffee. Yeah. We're going to go here for lunch mm-hmm. and then we're going to walk around here mm-hmm. with another coffee and then you can get out of my house. Yeah. Yeah. That's no, kind I'm of sure how you have a good like West side version of boom, that. Boom, boom, I feel boom. like I have the, East side. Yeah. Except for the one common thing, I feel like you always have to take people to Elefante. And Elefante's on my list too. If someone's staying for me with me for several days, mm-hmm. Elefante's my like Thursday evening spot. Elefante, for anyone that doesn't know, is in like Santa Monica, mm-hmm. overlooks. Highly recommend. If you guys come to LA. They- if you ever want to see a contestant from The Bachelor, either current season mm-hmm. or past, or someone that will be on in the future, go there. Yeah. There's nothing that makes me more humble than going there and being like, okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> It's a nice place to, if you need to go, be invisible. If you, or me, go and yeah. be like, okay, at least no one's going to look at me. Yeah. They need to go look at these. Yeah, people are looking at. Absolute um, casting calls. And, and honestly, people are looking at the sunset. It's, it's you gorgeous. You need to get, if you can, book in advance and get, if you're going to ever go visit this restaurant, you need to get the sunset room. Mm-hmm. You need to be, because there's a room in the back and it's like, why are you, You know, why people would you go? think that, because there's an episode of Curb that's like based off of a restaurant where they put like hot people in one section yeah. and ugly people in the other section apparently that's based off of Elefante and they put the hot people in the sunset room and the ugly people in the back room. Makes sense. Have you ever been in the back room? Never been. Me neither. Wouldn't, wouldn't dare. If I do, I'll say something. I would tumble down the stairs and sue them. Yeah. Yeah. But that being said, like I do reserve the sunset room. So I don't know what, if that speaks to. Yeah. I don't think, I think bigger parties get set in that back room, honestly. I don't know if that's... Oh, uh, yeah. But it would make I, sense if they put all the hot people in the sunset room. Yeah, it would. I don't know. I've seen some fuggos in the sunset room. Yeah. So, who knows? They're not doing a good job. They're not. We're not dealing with employee of the month over there at the hot versus sure, ugly sure. dealership. Sure. Um, let me gather myself because yeah. I feel like I was about to tell you something Please. else. Okay. I know... Well, we could talk... Can we... Can we get like five seconds to regroup well, do you want me to tell you something yes you were gonna do the doctor's appointment stuff but i can tell you about my um my knitting workshop yeah why don't you do that okay yeah i'll tell you about my knitting workshop um i'm learning how to knit an emotional support chicken yeah over the course of three weeks 
That's nice. It's real cool because I didn't. I wouldn't have known how maybe to knit a chicken without the workshop. Maybe the emotional support is not so much about the destination, but w- the the knitting of the chicken actually, along the I way. Actually, Connor. I actually yeah. do. Have that's what I, to me when you said that. I'm taking this class over the course of three weeks. Kind of sounds like that's the emotional support, and then you're kind of putting as you would at Build a Bear the love and the oomph into that chicken that you're knitting along the way and I then that's what you'll attribute. actual goosebumps and now you're making me think that i want to get like a little like recorder thing that they have at build a bear and put someone's voice in it what's in my about chicken recorders is they ha- science has not come far far enough to where that recorder is comfy to cuddle with oh really like we have we have cameras the size of a of a pinky fingernail but we can't get the build a bear <clears throat> build a bear recorder things to not be the size of a actual brick right. that you pull up from the bottom of a right. pool in the deep water test. Yeah, I haven't seen them since I was at camp. If you and my to- friend would not stop playing her mom's her mother's voice yeah. as I as ever the bunk was trying to rest. So. Maybe maybe get like maybe knit a little heart mm-hmm. put in it and then you just yeah. it. Or just like maybe like an heirloom of sorts from all my friends can kind of pitch in and I can put little tiny pieces of things that remind me of my friends, maybe the locks of their hair or something in my chicken. That is a step in the right direction. Mm-hmm. I think closer. I think you're getting warmer, but mm-hmm. I don't know about having your, all your friend's hair and mm-hmm. your chicken. Yeah, I think it sounds like a little, little bit of a time capsule. Yeah, it's really sweet. And there's a lot of, as you would expect, older older women um, at the chicken knitting workshop. Yeah. And we were going around like saying what level of knitting that we were in terms of beginning, intermediate, advanced. And I figured, like, sure, like, I guess I'm intermediate. I don't think, like, I'm beginner. To me, like, beginner is maybe, like, knowing how to knit a scarf. Sure. You know? So I said intermediate. Um, turns out, I don't think I'm even, like, at a beginner. Like, I think I'm, what's before beginner? Novice? Um, Novice plus? Starter pack? I'm working through a burp over here yeah. as well, like you were earlier. Let me think. Uh, what is it called when you uh, apprentice? I'm an apprentice. Yeah, maybe you need to ask one of those broads to take you under their wing. Yeah. The girl next to me was like, oh, are you doing German Continental? And I was like, okay. What that, is, is that knitter? Excuse me? What did that, you just call me? Is that knitter pearl queen? <laughs> <laughs> I only know knitting and pearling queen. Bless you. Yeah. Yeah. So that was something. And then the last tight. thing about um, my knitting club, which is sweet. And I'm worried that people are going to take this as me being insensitive, but... It's not, and I'll tell you why. I I majored in um, special ed in addition to early childhood education, which is something you might not know. And the one thing that my professors like really wanted to emphasize is that people with special needs are people too. And that means, you know what? They can be annoying too, because they're people. So this one um, girl in, my, in, in the knitting class does have some sort of like developmental delay, and she's really sweet, but, and she also has no legs. And she was going around asking, every single person if she was not a member of the class she was just knitting side by side i think she's just like a frequent flyer at the knitting place and she was asking every single person if she could have their chicken like for free of charge and she was like i don't want to make my own can i have your chicken and i was like babe no like i'm working really hard on my chicken she's like okay does it change your mind that i have no legs and i was like okay you know what queen like like good on you like that's that's a good like, that's a good move. Like, a good time to pull the note like hard. But no, you can't have my chicken, despite that. So I love her. Where can I say about that? You don't You don't have to say anything. Just know that, like, that's a character that I'm kind of working with for the next few weeks. Right. And I, like, love her. Like, I go back and forth between being like, you have to stop. And, like, kind of, like, admiring how brazen she is. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Anyway, that's it. Um What do you think I'm going to get canceled? No, no, no. I don't think you're going to. I like feel like I almost had something to say. And sometimes you just kind of kind of got got to let that come in and come out and maybe if I find find something later on in the episode to circle back, does she have a name that we can give her? Yeah, pick one. Cuz I don't want to say her real name. Let's call her Olivia. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll, Olivia. I I do really I think that we could be something like like some friends. sort of partnership i wouldn't say friends but like some sort of like alliance yeah maybe um well cool i mean i think she started a chicken actually once no one was willing to give them her their chicken but i think she's moving the crochet route so i'll keep y'all updated on her crochet chicken as well as my knit chicken i have two more classes 
I can't. You got to bring the chicken in so we can all. I will. I will. Um, Well, Olivia, like Godspeed. She sounds like a a marketing queen. Yeah, she's fun. Yeah, she's seems fun. Mm -hmm. Um, She's a lot. Yeah. (laughs) Hey guys. Hey. We want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Care of. Care of is a subscription service that ships high quality personalized vitamins, supplements, and powders conveniently to your door every month. You're tearing up just thinking about how awesome Care of is. Yeah, I'm actually talking through a burp, but same thing. Care of also helps track your wellness progress through their thoughtfully designed companion app. I love a good companion app. I love a good companion. Health should be personal and Care of helps take the guesswork out of what supplements are best suited for you and your goals. You take a short, in-depth quiz about your lifestyle and health goals for a personalized doctor-backed recommendation. They also make taking your vitamins on the go this summer so convenient with individual daily packs that are perfect for travel. I love their daily packs. You put them in your bathroom bag, throw a couple for how many days you're there. They're awesome. Care of's daily vitamin packs are made with plant-based compostable film to help limit the impact on the environment without compromising the quality and safety of their products. You call it a bathroom bag? I usually call it a dock kit. I, the first time I heard that ever was in Europe. Caden called it that. I have never heard that. I think it's a Texas thing. I call thing. it a dock toiletry kit. bag. After I took okay. my care of quiz, I was recommended magnesium to help with my muscle recovery. My mom texted me about magnesium this morning. Go ahead. Sorry. You're good. And also my sleep. Another supplement I was recommended that surprised me was garlic. I have been taking the garlic supplement to help keep my immune system in check. I bet you didn't know that. No, I figured you were taking it to keep a certain vampire away from you. No, (laughs) good one. No, actually my immune system. So yeah. My favorite part of care of is how convenient they make it to build a holistic routine. Plus the individual packs are so easy to take on the go and get sent right to your door. So you never run out. That is awesome. Guys, for 50% off your first care of order, go to takecareof.com and enter code B and C50. That's takecareof.com and enter code B and C50 for 50% off your first care of order. Thanks, care of. Um, okay, well, I finally, I feel like everyone's been on this mm-hmm. journey, just shifting gears, this journey with me as I booked so many appointments to get my health in check. I finally got in. Um, to this doctor via Zoc Doc, and I went in. I did every test under the sun. Um, I came back with flying colors, with from everything, everything. It was amazing. It was a great time. They did blood <laughs> tests, urine tests. They did all these things, and then they started checking my heart rate. Checked my heart rate again. Checked my heart rate again <laughs> on three different tests. And that's the thing where they cuff you and squeeze. They cuffed me. They fingered okay. me. Okay. I'm sorry. They checked my finger for my pulse. <laughs> Not, come on, y'all. I was expecting them to finger me, honestly, because I thought I was going to have to get like my balls fondled and stuff right. for my physical. I called my dad and I was like, dad, the doc didn't even fondle my balls. Uh-huh. And he was like, what are you talking about? And I was like, well, in the physical, you get, you ca- <laughs> turn and right. cough for me. My dad's like, I've never had that done. I'm like, I've only ever had that done, right? Okay, that is a thing that happened. He gave me a fright because I was thinking of the episode of Friends. Yes, where when Chandler Joey's goes, Taylor. Joey's Taylor is like, goes up his leg. And, yeah. And they're like, well, that is not a normal thing. <laughs> and so my heart dropped to my ass. Yes. And I was like, have I been- Being taken advantage. Being, have I been getting my balls fondled by every doctor I've ever had for right. no reason? <laughs> and- my dad is like, no, I've never had that done. I'm like, what the hell? Um, and then I found out that everybody has that done. That is normal protocol. Yeah. But, but I also didn't get don't that they done. have to like also stick their finger up your butt? That's a colonoscopy. No, I, that's a t- huge machine. A machine with a finger that goes up your butt? No, a finger is separate than a colonoscopy. A colonoscopy is a camera okay. that goes and looks at your colon. They're I think the finger check. up your butt is prostate. They didn't do either. I kept my pants on. You kept your pants on the whole time? Yeah. Damn. How how would they possibly know if your balls and prostate are okay? I'm going back in this afternoon. So I'll oh, let you, okay. I, I'm literally going to ask, like, are you sure you don't need to touch my balls? Yeah. You're welcome to. Yeah. Um, I showered. Mm-hmm. Um, so, anyways, you know, they check your heart rate three times. My heart rate's already through the moon because I'm like, I haven't been to the doctor in five and a half years. <laughs> up to the moon yeah that was that moon level yeah right i think through the roof through the roof through the yeah. roof but you're good and then to the moon and back love you to the moon and back right. yeah i don't know it was through the moon and when she checked my heart the first time she's like "Ooh, 
ooh. And I was like, what? Second time, nurse practitioner checks it, finger. Ooh. I'm like, the fuck, mm-hmm. dude? Don't make any noises. Just be like, this is normal. And then she does all the EKG things all over my body, the stickies all over, and they attach a bunch of cords to me. I looked like a potato that like you have for too long and mm-hmm. starts growing all those things. And then I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, they check it, and then she goes, okay, and walks out, and I'm, shuts the door, and I'm sitting there, like, whatever. And then doctor calls me, and you can, you can go in and, and go to the doctor, and he sits me down, and he's got all these papers from the test mm-hmm. sitting in there. And I'm like, like, what's going to happen, you know? And he sits me down and he's talking and whatever. And, and he's like, all right. And I'm just like, fuck. Like he, he gave me the like, all right, why don't you have a seat? It felt like I was getting in trouble. The principals mm-hmm. that they found weed in my locker or mm-hmm. something. And I'm like, oh, fuck. Okay. He's like, first of all, um, your test came in. And I'm like, come on. And you're great. And I'm like, come on. Okay. Don't like blue ball me like that. You didn't even touch my balls. At mm-hmm. least, you know, like. Give it to me straight, Doc. And he's like, he goes, he's going through every test, but he's like drum rolling me up to the results. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, dude, just say everything looks good. And then gives me liver. Liver looks great. And I'm like, what? (laughs) Awesome. (laughs) Biggest plot twist of the I know. I'm like, that's what I basically came Uh in here for. Liver looks great. Kidney looks great. No STIs, no STDs. Wow. Everything is great. Blood looks great. And then that was it. I'm like, okay, great. And then he gets to heart. Because I was like, that's what I was waiting for. Because she tested three times. And he's just like drawing things. And he's like telling me, by the way, we're getting to this part. My heart's pounding through my chest. And I'm about to kind of like have a panic attack. Because mm-hmm. he's not telling me results. And he's giving me all these words and stuff. And because I'm in this panic state, I'm giving him a full Netflix special comedy <laughs> session. I am cracking jokes right and left. He cannot give me my results because I am being the most <laughs> hilarious person in that doctor's office and I can't stop. I'm about to cry and I'm just like rattling off a set. <laughs> and he can't breathe. He had his head on his on his doctor's. Because he was sick. He, he's, no, I was making him laugh so hard. Oh. He's like cracking up and he's like, you are so funny, man. I'm like, give me the fucking results, man. He probably couldn't get a word he out. I know how you get. I couldn't stop talking and like <laughs> the panic state made me funnier. Like and I and I think he was like, Man, you're dying, but you're so funny. <laughs> like But he finally got to the results. I have like extremely uncharted for my age high blood pressure. Right. And so that is something that is giving me high blood pressure Do now. You know the number? It's like something over something, right? So the normal like standing heart rate, resting heart yeah. rate for someone. A hundred something. My over age something? is like, can we look it up? Cause I don't want to talk out of my arse. 120 over 80. So it's mm-hmm. 120 over 80. I was like 165 over some, like a lower number. That's I was real like, bad. yeah. Um, it was like, he's like, this is something I've never seen in someone <laughs> your age. And I was like, so what's stop saying that. What is the plan of yeah. attack here? Also, what could that lead to stroke, heart attack, yeah, he's like, this is a family issue. And I go, uh-huh. all right, I am going to track down this asshole in my family. I'm calling my mom, calling my dad. No one's fessing up. I'm like, okay, you guys want to hide? I'm going to fuck. Well, it's got to start somewhere. I'm going to sniff you out. We have everything else under the sun. My dad's like, we don't have heart uh-huh. pressure, anything. So now I think I need to do Ancestry.com, Larry David style, yeah. and kind of figure out who in my family is this like in the closet heart issue mm-hmm. person. Wow, I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's weird because all the things you need to do for, and I have to like stay chill now, which yeah. is like I get fired up all the time. Right. It's, you know, it's just now I got to be. We've like, always been saying just like be chill. Yeah, be and chill. And I have to as well because I have high cholesterol, which is another like I shouldn't have that because I'm at your age. No, you shouldn't. In my, in my early twenties. Is, is twenty? You know what? Late twenty? No. no. Um, mid to, mid to early. nah, and anyways, I also like I don't know. It's 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 a weird thing, and I go back in this afternoon, so I'll know like more this yeah. afternoon. Um, but <laughs> this guy was just so fun. It was one of those things, you know. We always talk about being put in situations that like only we get put in, which yeah. is like this ridiculous thing that I can't even explain to people. But he was a character on a TV show. That's how I was feeling about Olivia. Yeah, no, that's a character on a TV show. This doctor that like I can't stop 
making him laugh and he's wheeze laughing and right. i'm just like okay like give me the results of right. my diagnoses right i never got like a diagnosis but i did get three prescriptions well how about you ask him what those are i brought they? i brought them with me so i can bring them into the office this afternoon good after i get did my... you google the names or anything yeah okay it's very gen it's like general very general procedure. stuff they also have my back issues which was another thing i went in for oh did he which is muscular code yeah it's muscular so i got like muscle relaxers to take at Ooh. night every day until and he's like this could be fixed in five days or six weeks wow you don't need to go to the chiropractor which i already did that's well, at least now you know it's not your kidneys, it's not I mean, your liver. I'm also not going to go back to my massage place on the Venice Boardwalk because right. I think I got COVID from there. Oh, shoot. Looking really? back. Also, like, they maybe it's my... not good for your back. No, they hurt my back and they also, they hurt my back and they also gave me, like, an illness that I was unable to stand for three days, which could have been anything. Oh, yeah. Anyways, um, I have to limit my salt intake and I have to continue exercising. I do all the time and drink right. a bunch of water. But I came home and obviously like forgot about the salt thing. And I had like an unbelievable amount of sriracha and immediately my heart started hurting. You wouldn't believe like how many things salt is present in. It's in everything. Yeah. MSG is crazy. You, what exactly is MSG? We'll never know. Which I don't know. One time, you know, Aunt Susu, of course. Yeah, of course. I was young and we were at a Chinese restaurant and she ordered like a whole thing of fried rice or something and ate it like every last morsel of rice. Yeah. And then the waiter came and she was like, oh, does this have MSG in it? <laughs> and they were like, yeah. And she was like, mm, I can't eat MSG. <laughs> Did she send back? Send it back? She asked for another one without MSG. And I was like, huh, I, I think I'm not following. This chick loves her rice. Susu's also banned from every Louis Vuitton sore why i don't i think she kind of put up some sort of fight about something she wasn't satisfied for there was it, there was an msg ended, in her bag and it ended with her being not allowed to step foot in the in any location she's so yeah sweet. oh yeah um i also wanted to say on the way home from the doctor i'm in santa monica and i'm just like i'm struck because when i get news like that i'm struck mm -hmm. i was expecting to have a tumor or something honestly mm -hmm. Anyways, my back hurts, my belt's too tight, my booty shakes from the left <laughs> to the right. And I'm in my car and I'm sitting at the stoplight and then I hear the loudest noise ever. And I look in my rear view and all the cars behind me are getting slammed into and it's domino affecting right towards my car. And I go, I'm gonna pull out of the way. I pull out of the way and the Prius behind me skids past me and there's like six cars behind it. That's crazy that you had time. I, I operate pretty well under a circumstance yeah. that i see coming i'm like i'm just gonna pull over i'm so fucking dumb i should have let them hit me it would have not only paid for my back but also my bumper that's fucked up oh man i should have just God. sat there and guess what the person that initiated the domino effect g-wagon i wouldn't have even had a guilt complex around them paying for my back and my bumper and you would be the only one was anyone in front of you Nope. You would be the only one not at fault at all in that situation. I don't think if someone hits from behind, you're liable for it's the original. I just learned you are because it happened to Tristan. He got in like a five car one and he's responsible. He's in the middle and he's responsible for the person in front of him. That's which is not fair because he didn't do it. Well, he should get a good lawyer because that doesn't make sense. I think that's just how the rules of the road, babe. <sighs> one thing you I say about the, road, the rules of the road as a wild hog myself, I spent a little bit of time on the road. You know what I say about the road? Hmm. Life's a highway. Mm -hmm. Take take it or leave it. If you can't take the heat in the highway, then get out of my lane. Cause right. I'm in the fast lane, and I'm never slowing down. Right. You're in the bus lane. I'm in the bus lane. My favorite, one of my favorite moments was just like <laughs> driving randomly like around here, and like looking over and seeing Connor's car is pretty recognizable and just seeing one solo car in the bus lane. I was like, why am I going it, so wise? No one. <laughs> and, it, and it being, and it being, Connor. I was like, I'm making record time. Why the hell is no one in this lane? I'm like, dun, 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 I'm like passing everyone like losers. Yeah. Like the most yeah. illegal thing you could probably do. Yeah. And I just kind of sped right by thinking, you know, he'll figure it out yeah. or, or he won't, but. It'll get it'll get itself. Started. Well, I was like, why am I in like the HOV lane solo? Yeah. Um, all these HOVs are on the left lane. Hold up. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, Squarespace. Whether you're just starting out or managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products 
to content to your own time. All in one place, all on your terms. Squarespace has a ton of professional website templates with designs for every category and use case. You can customize your look, update content, and add features to fit your unique needs. You can even mold any Squarespace template to do what you want so your idea, brand, or business stands out online on every device. Squarespace also offers extensions so you can connect your store to vetted third-party tools to extend the functionality of your website. My favorite Squarespace feature is their online store option, which helps you sell any product on your own website. Whether it's physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools that you need to start selling online. I sold my own merch with the Squarespace yeah. like website platform design. It's super easy, smooth, flexible. The whole thing is just like an easy experience. It's 10 out of 10. I recommend. Me too. And that's why you should go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to www.squarespace.com slash B-A-N-D-C to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash B-A-N-D-C to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, I know that like this is like a no-no and it's like super lame and low-hanging fruit. Um, what are you about to say? Well, I want to talk about my dream before I forget about it. Oh, like I, I saw this tweet that was like being married means having to wake up every single morning and the person next to you telling you about their dream. And that made me not want to get married. You don't like talking about dreams. I know, right? I like talking about I like telling people about my dreams. Yeah, it's kind I of think it's really hard to hear about someone else's i know and i know no one and wants, that's so hypocritical no one wants to hear about my no dream, i want to hear about and i dream. know that but i, I promise you it's it's semi-relevant to what we're gonna it will liaise on us into i think a better conversation Ooh, it will liaise us it will liaise us. okay let's liaise shall we liaise yeah care to co care to come with me on this liaise journey let's go come on okay tell me the story so i <laughs> <laughs> i like um I've been having really bizarre dreams. So I, I the other night, uh, I had this dream where I was in an Airbnb and we were on a trip with a bunch of people and I don't remember who all was in it, but Taylor Swift was performing inside of our Airbnb. And it was a large Airbnb and there was a lot of fans there. And I went pee and I missed the entire set. And I came in with my phone out and I was like, farts, I missed her set. And like, I'm not a Taylor Swift, huge Swifty person. I'm a fan, and then she, I'm like, crap, I missed it. She, oh, we were in Africa for some reason. <laughs> we, she comes out and she's on. Like, you buried the lead. That's what bury the lead means. She comes out and she's on a second story and she looks over and she's, her, she's noticing I'm upset. And I said, I missed the whole show. Mm -hmm. She comes down a spiral staircase to me and goes, hey, no worries, like, I'll do another show. You should come. And I was like, that's amazing. Give me a hug. And <laughs> Give me a hug gave, right now. <laughs> she gave me a hug. And then she pulls back and she has soy sauce all over her face. <laughs> and I look down and I'm holding an entire ch Chinese takeout. Oh my God, Connor, that is so like salt coated because soy sauce is just salt. Oh my God. That's and a salt I stress dream. And I, I look at my whole shirt. I'm covered in soy sauce. And my face has soy sauce all over it. And I was the soy sauce carrier and I and I passed on that soy sauce to her cheek and face. You're stressing about your salt intake. And she goes, it's seriously no big deal and goes to wipe it off. I go, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. Can I make a TikTok? <laughs> With the soy sauce, she goes, babe, of course. <laughs> and we make a TikTok and it begins to go viral immediately. And then I wake up and I go, crap, it was all a dream. And so I roll over and I go back to sleep. Immediately, I'm in a, a plane crash <laughs> in my next dream. I am fighting a battle in my noggin <laughs> when I go to sleep every night. It's just not relaxing. Like sleep is not relaxing. Are you taking for me melatonin? I'm taking not shit. I should start doing something. I bet one of your supplements. First, first off, I'm with Taylor Swift. Uh, and then all of a sudden, I'm in a plane crash. Mm -hmm. So can I get a break? My dreams could be anything. I your wish dreams it was could recorded. be anything you want, and mine are all horrific nightmares yeah. that end poorly yeah also i want to say like like i said i'm not like a huge taylor swift fan i wasn't before that dream obsessed with her now <laughs> this, i don't blame this you this queen's getting soy sauce to right and left and then she's like sure let's make she a was really about sweet it. so yeah now i have this I, have you ever had a dream about someone have you ever had a dream when you what were you have when you what were you and then you 
Where you? Have you seen that video? No. Okay. I thought you were truly having a stroke due to your blood pressure and salt intake. Nah. Nah, that's a that's a reference. But have you ever had a dream where you when you have you when you have a dream where you? Okay. That's like SpongeBob would turn at the and then the if you hit the you've gone too no, far. No, what you're thinking of is the lid. What am I thinking of? The lid. 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 I'm not oh, this is the that. video. This is the reference I was making. Ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you 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 could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything. Oh, that's precious. It's the cutest that thing ever. That is precious. <laughs> the cutest thing ever i hate when they when they go i was a meme one time and then it's like a normal person i'm like this is who i want this is my like talladega nights baby jesus uh-huh. i don't want to see him grow up i i wish he would stay like this forever anyways Day have this you... little go on that was that taylor swift song full circle Man. don't you ever grow up oh i don't know what song that is 22 no not that one never grow up <sighs> um have you ever had a dream about someone that like you really could you're pretty indifferent about it, and then you wake up and you're like oh i'm in love with this person. bradley cooper it's like a it's something so out of your control where you go to sleep and then you wake up and you're like i am so physically drawn to this individual and i, I have no control over it and it's just it's taken me by storm mm-hmm. lived out the plot of the kissing booth with bradley cooper in a dream once which is like an interesting casting but the mind goes where it goes for a reason I have loved him ever since, and that was five years ago. Wow. I mean, I loved him before that, but now I'm just like, when I see him, I'm just like, oh my God, yeah. for that time on the beach, you know? Yeah, and they don't know. And now it makes me think, like, that's that's how people, like, a lot of people feel that way. I get I get texts all the time, you were in my dream last night. I'm like, we've never met. I've never I, you're met in my th- dreams a lot. You're you're a, like, a person that would be in I'm people's dreams. I'm a key dreams. piece. I think you are a key piece. Yeah. Because you're just like such a your presence. Well, I told you about that dream that you you guys were all in it. Yeah, that one the other night. Where were uh, it doesn't matter. We we got to move on past dream talk. I know mm-hmm. that I'm fascinated. Actually, I guess I do just like talking about my own dream. Yeah, I talked to my my. Dr- hey, get a dream journal. <laughs> I need to a dream recorder because you kind of need uh, the inflection points of when I'm talking about the dream for me to be like Taylor Swift being like, no, give me. I don't care that the soy sauce is all over me. We are close. We're that close to where you could drench me. You could dip me in soy sauce like a wonton. And I don't care because it's me and you against the world, baby. And like she doesn't even know that I had that dream. And I'm just living this out in my own subconscious. And that's disturbing. She doesn't know me. She'll never. I mean, we don't know what could happen. But I am just looking. I'm sorry. I thought I wrote down the Bradley Cooper dream when it happened. I also want to say while you're looking for that, but I didn't. I now I really, really, really want to go to a Taylor Swift concert, um, and I'll fly to it if anyone has an extra. I'm going. If anyone has an extra ticket to any location, I will, or I'll buy it. But I will come. I feel like there's so many in LA. Oh, I don't know the schedule, but I need to go now, and it's out of my hands and it, against my will. No, it actually is out of your hands. Wait, oh, come on. Oh my God, I've got so many dreams recorded. I know we don't want to hear it. Let me just give you one, because these are from 2020, that like right when COVID hit. Oh, that was a so time. those have to be like really. That was a time to be dreaming. We were all dreaming. Huh. Sorry, keep talking for a sec. Okay, well, I think that the reason I was saying that it was so relevant is because the FBI's graphic design team and their their intern, I guess, or whoever runs the social media account, put out like a piece of marketing material in in taylor swift esque turn like i don't i don't know how to describe it it's like a speak now they came out with this this i don't know what what would you call it it's kind of like a flyer that says speak now and it's it's an ad for speaking out against terrorism and it's like in taylor swift style speak now do you have a tip about a federal crime Justice is better than revenge. You may not be Superman, but you can help the hashtag FBI protect the country. If you have information about a federal crime, speak now. And it's like, speak now, Taylor. Yeah, Taylor's brilliant. version. Are they allowed to use her IP, the, the Federal Bureau of Investigation? 
Spiral? I feel Spiral. like she doesn't own Speak Now. But like her almost, I mean, the purple and the, the cursive. I'm sure she actually doesn't mind. And maybe she does. Maybe she's got an issue with the FBI. I, for one, could never because I love criminal minds. This is my dream job, by the way, like being on the social team of the FBI because it combines my loves of being on my phone yeah. and the FBI. You are not going to believe what I just found on my phone. What? It's actually like so I'm terrified. Well, speak now. It's a dream I had May 19th, 2020. I wrote this down at 628 a.m. This is the most full circle episode we've ever had in my life, in our lives. Give it to me. I was in the YMCA pool taking the deep water test. I had to back float for five minutes and then tread water for three. I was really nervous because I already failed twice. As I was finishing up my back float, I felt someone lightly touch my shoulder. I turned. It was Harry Styles with a huge bucket of watermelon. He told me he was there to help. He hand fed me the watermelon for the entire three minutes I had to tread water. I passed the deep water test and got my green ribbon. We hugged and he smelled like watermelon. We played Marco Polo. We talked a lot about our joint business venture, a unisex fragrance called Watermelon Sugar. Uh, that is fanfic. That's nu- that is nuts. It's crazy that your brain wrote that entire plot of like a, a fanfic in while you were asleep. Like you can't stop grinding. No, I cannot. I'm on the clock constantly. You, you have no idea. You need to um, have like a write off for when you're sub- when you're un- unconscious. My whole life's a write off. I'm never in this reality. I'm always doing something else up here. Up here. That was that's kind of that's chilling. Bone chilling. Mm-hmm. But I couldn't find the one about Bradley Cooper. Can I tell you something yeah. else that's kind of different and totally off subject? Because sure. I just remembered it. Yeah, I love it. The other day, I was in this coffee shop, and. The music was really, really loud, and I love when coffee shops have music <laughs> that's, like, really intensely not the vibe to be in a coffee shop at, like, 7 in the morning. It was, think about it. Watch yourself. Look, what is that song? I'm not familiar. It show, was like, show, a, me what you're working with. show me what you're working with. I remember it, and I was like, this is really loud. And and the the barista was like, I can't hear you. And I leaned in, and she leaned in as well, and I oh, told, I go, can I get a cappuccino? And I gleeked onto her ear. You leaked onto her ear. I gleeked. What do you? What's gleeked? Oh my god! How do? How are you doing that on command? I learned in about seventh grade because gleeking was all the rage. I've never heard of that besides like gleek of the week. No, it was like how far can you gleek? And I was like, I can gleek further than you. Show me your gleek. Show me what you're working with. To the- discharge a long, thin stream of liquid through the teeth. That's disgusting. Oh, uh, we're not talking disgusting right now, are we? You know, they didn't I hate need that. to call it discharge. You know, it's, I hate the D word. I hate the D word. It's not discharge. It's just it's it's saliva. Yeah. That being, is it rare to gleek? Can we see? While an enormous thirty-five percent of people can gleek, only one percent can do it on command. Whoa! You're in the one percent. Oh! Wow! It does run out. It does run out. out of, I, I can only discharge. I, I can only gleek so many times a day. I only have so much discharge yeah, you to only offer do. the world. Come on, one percenters, let me hear you. How are you? How are you doing it? Like, what are you doing with your mouth? I just push my tongue. Uh, uh, uh. Can you do a clover? Uh. Uh-uh. Me neither. I'm not part of that one percent. That's that's more than one percent. I don't know why my eyes are rolling back in my head. <laughs> I'm trying. Is that? Not even close. Oh, shoot. All right. Um, but All right. Okay. Should we do some PC pop culture? Oh, yeah. Why don't you take the lead? Okay. Here, I'll give you three options and you can pick one. Threads? Let's do threads. Okay. Because I feel like threads is like an important thing. Yeah. I didn't actually, before right now, I, don't, I didn't have any thoughts on threads. So this is all going to be raw. That's fair. I'm sliding in raw right now. Oof. Connor. So go ahead. You want me to start? Yeah. I like it so far. I need a few changes immediately, if not sooner. I need to have a page of just people I'm following. Yeah. The algorithm sucks. I don't, I'm getting like weird stuff. Like you should always have the opportunity to just see stuff from people you're following. Like I'm not sure why they're not giving us that. And I don't like what I'm seeing. So I guess I don't like it at all. Well, I know that it was released in kind of a almost like an urgency Mm -hmm. because they wanted to just like start. They pushed it out before it was ready, but they acknowledged that. Right, they did. So self awareness is key. I think there's going to be three options here. One, it's going to flop, which is what I'm sensing right now. Two, um, 
it's we're gonna have two mediocre apps that are just like because I still get on Twitter because Twitter's yeah. so funny. Um, and then three, I can't remember. Oh, three, Twitter's going to fail and they're going to make it really good and it'll be like the app for that. They just need to make a few changes. My whole thing, like obviously I could have opted out of following every single person I know. Oh, did you? No, I forgot. I just clicked okay right away and oh. you can't undo it. So now I'm So you did follow people. everyone. You There's know. a lot of people I don't need to see. I actually threaded this. I tweeted this on threads. I can't, I can't say the word threaded. I Why? can't say my THs. Threaded. Threaded. It seems like you're saying them. Oh. Maybe because I'm thinking about it. Threaded. I threaded a couple things last week right away. And one of the things that I threaded was uh, that a lot of people are going to come to realize that a lot of your favorite influencers can't form a coherent thought. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of people are seeing that now where it's just words. And I think text-based things are... Every app eventually turns into screenshots of Twitterapp.com. Mm -hmm. Right. Every big thing on Instagram is a screenshot of a tweet. Yeah. There are there are the most viral, some of the most viral TikToks are people going through their favorite tweets of the week, and it's just a small uh, yeah. green screen of them. Ooh, we haven't done that in a long time. Yeah, well, we'll bring it back. Okay. But so I don't think the text based thing is going anywhere. But it's a little frustrating that like some of these huge influencers automatically have a hundred thousand mm -hmm. followers on the app. I think that that's not okay. But I wanted it to happen to me completely get what you're saying because but i honestly wish that it would have transferred my twitter followers over to mm. threads because those people have chosen to follow me based on my your brain my and text thoughts and text. thoughts versus i don't expect someone that likes video and pictures that i'm posting to need to hear my thoughts on right like people that like you for your body aren't necessarily gonna like you for your mind yeah which That's is a okay. shame i'm okay with that yeah that's fine yeah um, but now we have word from the Taliban, finally. The Taliban has come out saying that they are in full support of Elon's Twitter, but they don't really support Meta's version of Twitter threads because there are guidelines that are a little bit too exclusionary for the Taliban's needs at this time. At this time right now. So the Taliban has endorsed Twitter over threads. So, um, other platforms mm -hmm. cannot replace it, said a senior member of the Taliban in a tweet explaining that Meta is intolerant towards many people and groups. So you're still groups, on Taliban Twitter? Many people and groups, including the Taliban. I have been on Taliban Twitter against my will, which I think is their whole shtick, <laughs> for so long. Their whole shtick. Their whole shtick <laughs> is kind of things against your will, but um, I guess Zuckerberg's threads have been a bit intolerant towards groups such as, and including the Taliban. Got it. And their needs in a text-based app. So given that information, I think threads has a great opportunity to continue building and tweaking their app to be number numero uno. Um, I am so disturbed by some of the videos that I see on Twitter and there's, it sucks that the most upper echelon the what? comedy, upper echelon. What's that? Hmm. Oh my God. Not, not me being the Saurus, Dr. The Saurus. Echelon? Today. Echelon, upper echelon. What does it mean? I can't spell it. So I can't look it up for you, but upper echelon is like top tier cream of the crop. Oh, is that like S tier? Is S tier short for echelon? I don't know what S tier is. Does anybody? Are you sure you didn't make up echelon? Upper echelon. A level of command authority or rank after user service. She is now in the upper echelon of city officials. <laughs> is that what you were saying? Upper echelon, yeah. Cream of society? Yeah, it's the cream of society. It's It could also be used as like the top of the top of the crop. Top of the class. Okay. I prefer cream of society. Okay. So, yeah, I think the Threads has the opportunity to be the cream of the society. <laughs> Me too, Connor. Here. Me too. But we'll see what happens. I'm looking forward to it. Do you have any thoughts on Threads other than that? Well, my thoughts were initially I love it, and then as I was saying it out loud, I realized I don't like it. But my question, like, for you as a content creator, specifically one who creates on Twitter via mind to text. Yeah. Are you posting the same things that you're posting on Twitter on threads? Like, are you tweeting and threading the same things the same way you would post, like, the same video on Reels and No, and let, let me show you why. I kind yeah, of show feel, me. like, really safe on Twitter in the sense that, like, I'm not really... I will tweet whatever the hell I want. I don't really care. 
like I for example, I tweeted and seed oils are so good when you don't have a bitch in your ear telling you they're cancerous. I wouldn't put that on my threads because I don't want people on Instagram seeing me tweet oh, that. Oh, see, I feel the opposite. I feel much safer on threads. Ashwagandha would be a beautiful name for an evil newborn. I wouldn't put that on Instagram, but like Twitter is just like, that's, is, you know. Oh, I feel the opposite just because no one, I don't have any followers on. Well, for example, I was going to make this a TikTok and a reel, and I did, and I posted it, and it, it took a one-way ticket to Flop City population my content mm -hmm. <laughs> and i i tweeted i got some disposable cameras for this weekend so we can lose three of them then spend thirty dollars to develop the one we have left to get four photos that look like they were taken of a colonial ghost that's funny like, that's great um i don't want to put that on threads because then someone's going to see it from instagram and then i'm going to immediately make a reel that's why twitter is my sounding board to get ideas and see how they perform and then turn that into like i see what you're saying and then i don't want you know because not everybody has a Twitter. Right. So it's like easier for me to see how content performs on Twitter. Take it. Flush it out. Burp. Picking and then get to work and post it on video focused apps. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing where it's going. I've been threading a bit. I need I need some changes. Yeah. And that's that. And I think we'll see those changes. Yeah. I still like Twitter. I do too. Unfortunately, even though yeah. it's promoted by the Taliban. At this time. Well, it was promoted by the Taliban against like, I don't, Elon just like is such a dweeb. I've never Wait. seen someone ruin something the way he ruined Twitter. Like that is just, that's a feat. It is. Don't ever say he didn't do anything. He is such a loser. It's mm -hmm. crazy. that He's, he, again, that's someone who can't even make the ranks on my loser list because he's just so far gone. Hey guys, hold the phone. We want to take a quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, ZocDoc. Have you ever been on the hunt for a new doctor and you ask literally every new, everyone you know for their recommendation? I did that. You know, a doctor who like really gets you, listens to you, and makes you feel super comfortable. Mm -hmm. My dermatologist. And after like- Obsessed with her. Yeah. Uh, after you search and you search and you search, you find the one. Someone who not only does all that, but they're also close by and you're both in Aries, Moon, Virgo, right. Rising, because obviously that's super important, especially in LA. You call their office and they have an appointment available. Let's go. But then the receptionist tells you that this perfect doctor doesn't take your insurance. Right. Yeah. That's a tough, you know. N to S. N to S. T and S. Well, wipe your tears and put away the ice cream and head over to ZocDoc to find and book the doctor who's right for you and takes your insurance. ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top rated patient reviewed doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for the ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat almost any condition you're searching for. These docs all have verified reviews from actual real patients, not bots. The average wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is just between 24 and 48 hours. That's it. You can even score same-day appointments. Over the last few weeks, ZocDoc has helped me check off things on my medical to-do list in a super convenient and easy way by connecting me to doctors who take my insurance and are reliable. Go to ZocDoc.com slash B and C and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and rate, find and book, I'm sorry, a top rated doctor today. That's ZocDoc.com slash B and C. ZocDoc.com slash B and C. Ooh, speaking of your loser list. Yeah, hit me. You called, you called it. Mm. With Jonah mm, Hill, mm, you mm, called mm, it. Mm, mm. I can't tell you which episode it's on. I do not remember, but I want for the record to show that. I don't know if you said it on here, but you have said it to me multiple times. I have times. said there is something nefarious about Jonah Hill and I can't put my finger on it. And I knew that I didn't like him. And then this weekend it came to a head. Yeah. You could say that again. Ah, my stomach's been grumbling too. I want to see if I can, I want to see if I can get my stomach grumbling. I've, you can. I've tried. Oh, when next time, it, no, mine's really moving. No, and mine too. You can't. I've been doing it. It doesn't pick up on the mic. Um, I called that he was he's a weirdo. A bad, he's a bad nut. Whatever. Anyway. I mean, I'd be curious to see what he has to say. Also, did you ever see that? I don't um, think he's gonna say anything because it's you, like he just doesn't right. care. Did you ever see that Netflix movie he made about his therapist? That's what I was saying. That's like what he's so addicted to. He speaks like therapy right. language only. There's yeah, there is a thing as being over therapized. But I watched that and like it's not. There's something wrong sinister about it like i don't 
like I've been in therapy all my life and like I don't I didn't understand a word his therapist was saying and it was like so like you know that like fake deep kind of thing where someone's like trying they say so a lot hard for they... something and it's like wait I know I do I do not understand what yeah. you're saying that was me the whole movie and like therapists are not supposed to talk about themselves and the whole movie was about the therapist <laughs> so like there's something yeah. there's something sinister yeah but yeah you were right mm-hmm. yeah not doesn't happen often so I want to take that I want to take that dub yeah honestly you know when well you don't smoke that much but if you're really high and like you think you can all of a sudden like you see things clearly you're like oh my god like I know this I know this to be true like I've never known something more than I know it in this moment like I'm seeing like I'm God and I'm understanding everything on a level that no one else can just like seeing things like so clearly do you have that ever I can truly say I've never experienced what you just said okay well basically it's just like you're high and you're seeing things like in a new light and that light is just seeing them as all knowing and thinking that you like to hold all the truth. Does that make any sense? Okay. So basically what was happening was I had been hitting my binky before I watched the apology video and just watching her with that ukulele singing. I was like this woman, there is something really wrong no shit no but i was like yeah obviously you might think that's obvious but to me i was like i know that like that there is something so wrong and i this is a fact like there is no denying like she's sinister she's evil like i was literally looking at her i was like this is an evil woman and i had to stop watching because i was so scared because i was so high and i was like i'm i'm more scared watching this than i would be watching like the babadook or whatever like a horror movie. You're not supposed to say his name. Sorry. Yeah, him you're not supposed to say? I thought that was the boogeyman. Brooke, don't say all their names Sorry. in one podcast. Everyone that listens to this episode is going to be cursed. They already are, probably. I know. We've wished some ill will upon many people. But she is evil. So what are the allegations? She was like grooming. Grooming kids? and racism. Can you imagine being accused of grooming and racism and having like blatant proof that you have groomed and you were racist getting on camera and singing that it's actually everybody else that's the problem everybody else is toxic by the way your racism and your grooming we cannot play her apology video we can't give her any sort of no because she monetization she is suing everybody now that has any clip of them talking about it bring it no okay no sorry no 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 (laughs) sorry (laughs) what I could fight in the court. Can you imagine me testifying? That'd be awful. I'd puke. I know. She she hit up the H three. I can't. I literally cannot look at her. She is to me like the cover. That is like a cover of like a horror movie poster. I hope we don't get canceled when we're unrelevant because that would be just like a hard day. Just be also, like-, like there's always like my sister used to watch Miranda sing stuff because she's young, and like when that like there was always something wrong with that. Like as an outsider, like she's basically like portraying like a, some like a weird, like, I don't know, like someone who's almost like neurodivergent in some way and like making fun of it kind of. That's like her whole shtick. It's like spoofing on somebody who like clearly has different, maybe I'm reading into it too much, but like it never seemed Okay. Are you high right now? No, I'm not. Do you ever get nervous? No. I Are you single? A little. I heard you fuck a girl. Is it true? Who? What is this from? <laughs> what song is that from? <laughs> I thought you were asking me genuine questions. It's Little Wayne, but I can't remember what song that is. Um, Am I being too harsh? No, you're fine. Like, yeah, it's weird. It's a weird, weird, weird situation. <laughs> we have to cover her face. I can't look like I actually am feeling like I just think that so she so Ethan Klein came out and was like he's they're being sued for like this small like uh, time stamp of when they played the sample of her song. She's going after people and she's monetizing. So basically she if anyone doesn't know Colleen uploaded her apology video as an mp3 to like all these streaming platforms and she's charging ten dollars a month for it. Which I think this is her final cash grab. 
Because she, she said she didn't upload it. No. I think maybe I'm making that up, but I I'm, think she came out and said that she actually had nothing to do with I'm it. I'm really not on this side of the internet at all. I'm really on it, and also her brother too. People are uh, releasing screenshots of him grooming young children in t- the Twitter DMs as well. They're in cahoots. I think like they're acting separately, which is even scarier. So it just runs in their genes. Like very scary. <gasps> no. Really quick, we I really want to talk about in Maine the Wonka casting situation. Then we can watch the trailer. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we are gonna watch the trailer for Wonka that came out yesterday in bonus. Casted the cast release so far is Timothy, Timmy Boy, Chalamet, and freaking Hugh Grant as the single Oompa Loompa. <laughs> I just cannot. I'm sorry. And Mr. Bean is in this movie. And Olivia Coleman. And that gentleman from Bridesmaids. Okay. And Keegan Michael Key. I have to say, this was so brutally miscast that like I think someone should be held accountable. The trailer was so bad. It was so bad. Timothy Chalamet is not quirky. I cannot believe they put him into like that role. He his line delivery was Oh, shoot. What'd he say? I wrote it down. Flip it around and turn it out. He was like a Chuck E. Cheese animatronic. It was bizarre. Quiet up and listen down. Quiet up and listen down, guy. What? They need to put an absolute freak. Who is that guy in uh, Norman Bates? Norman Bates. He was already Charlie. Crap. That's why I was thinking it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who did someone say? Someone has an entire story on this from yesterday. I know who does. Okay, let me pull up. I just like, also like, is it a kid's movie? I was so confused during the trailer. Okay, so this is what- What's it rated? This is what Sarah Coffey on Instagram said. She's very funny. This guy is not kooky enough for this role. We needed a freak, a slime ball, somehow grotesque. And you have that one friend who's like, he's hot. And you're like, what the fuck? And then three years later, you kind of get it. Yeah. Right, we don't need a heartthrob. Skyler Gasonda would have been good. The guy from Oh, uh, I love that guy. I don't know. That's someone whose show. name you just whose face you know, but name you don't. He would have been good. Rory Culkin would have been Oh yeah. Decent. I mean, I love I really do love Timmy, but so I'm really excited to see it and I hope that I'm proved wrong, but it didn't it looked like really bad. Jane Lynch. As as would have been a good Wonka. Okay. I think that yeah. Obviously Jeremy Allen White, which we can dive into how he's definitely just like the offspring he of is Gene Wilder. The least like silly person that I could think of though. Yeah, but I want it to be like I want I want Will I you're supposed to be a little bit scared of Willy Wonka. You're supposed to Willy Wonka does not does not bat an eye as his army of oompas come and pick up a dead body and take it who knows where right i want i want i want i want i want my willy have you ever had a dream that you want have you ever had a dream that you want willy wonka to watch augustus gloop drown in a fountain of chocolate and then he not doesn't bat an eye that's what i want did augustus die augustus gloop yeah i don't know die honestly you know who would have been really good before we before we go charlie day would have been an awesome he's so old not so old, but like too old to play Wonka. Timothy, Maybe Wonka. Sh- Timothy Chalamet He's our looks age. like a teen. Yeah. I think that's the what they're going He's for. He's too young to own a chocolate factory. He doesn't own it yet. This is the prequel. Why is he dressed like that? Because he's weird. I don't like this. I don't like this. I agree with you. I want to be proved wrong, but like I want I want Willy Wonka to look like he's a tweaker, you know, and he found those clothes. And he can't wait for his next fix, you know? And he needs to see some of kids. Chocolate? He needs to see chocolate? some kids die today. Oh my God, or else they should he's... have had that little shriveled thing from SpongeBob play Wonka. Yeah. I remember when they first invented <laughs> chocolate. Yeah, her. I always hated it. Let's go to bonus. I on that love that note. it that echoed through this entire thing and there was not a laugh to be heard. Maybe I'd be a good Wonka. Oh, here we go. Okay. Let's I'll have... dive into that yep. in the bonus. Yep. Remember that you can sign up for bonus if you want to come watch us watch the trailer. At tmgstudios.tv. We have a lot to talk about. Ooh, I had something I wanted to do. Oh, we'll do it in the bonus. 
Uh-huh. Do it in the bonus. All right. We'll see you over Do it there. in the bonus. Loving you. Voice cracked. All right. We'll see you in the bonus. Bye, guys. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week, et cetera. Yes, we will. How do you spell et cetera? ETC. We'll see you. Dot. Oh. This week on Close Friends. It's both It's both someone has both gotten pregnant and died. It's Schrodinger's, Schrodinger's cat. cat. Again, like so many TV shows, so little time. There's actually so much time. Yeah. Wait. An Oompa Orge? Oh, I feel like I'm going to throw up. Come on, come on. At least you... No, 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 no. Sign up on TMGstudios.tv to watch the full bonus episode.